Hi, my name's Abby Hutty and I'm a Spacecraft Structures Engineer at Airbus Defence and Space. So my role at the moment is that I'm the Spacecraft Structures Engineer on the ExoMars rover mission. That's Europe's first rover mission to Mars, it's due to launch in 2018. I'd say that my job is mostly just an office job, it's a 9 to 5 job, but it just happens to be a, a really cool one. Um, so I, I work a lot at my computer doing designs and that kind of thing, but it's also a really social job. So I work with teams of people, other specialists from different departments, and we come together to create that design solution. I would say that I was inspired to become an engineer by teachers of mine at school who suggested engineering as a career option. When I did my GCSEs, I had no real idea what engineering was. My favourite subjects were design technology and art, but I was quite good at the, the maths and the physics and the technical subjects as well. And one of my teachers just said, well, engineering combines both of those, why not look into that? And then I actually found out at about that time, because it was on the news, about the Beagle 2 mission to Mars, which was a British mission to Mars. Um, which made me realise that the UK really does have a space industry, so I guess those two things together inspired me to look into a career in there. Things that I love about my job are being able to come up with an idea, have a concept in my mind and then being able to convey that to other people and actually get that created. So I always get a buzz from seeing that, that physical hardware come in that I've actually dreamed up myself. In terms of qualifications, I did a normal suite of GCSEs. My school did triple science as standard, so I did that. And then I went on to study maths, physics, design, technology, and French as A-levels. So some of those have been more applicable than others. I mean, I don't really have to have the French in my role, but working for an international company is actually quite useful sometimes. So yeah, all of those A-levels kind of come into play at some point. So I went to university and I studied mechanical engineering, just straight through undergrad masters. So I did a, a year placement as well, which I really enjoyed in there. I did my industrial year as part of my degree at Surrey Satellite Technology, it's called SSTL in Guildford. They make a whole suite of small satellites, so it was my, my first foray into the space industry. One of the things that I get a lot of job satisfaction from is just knowing that the things that I'm designing are actually going into space. So we're breaking new boundaries, we're going to places that nobody's been before, nobody's seen before, and I don't think that'll ever get old. One of the most unexpected things about my job is that it's such a social job, because a lot of people have this preconception that engineers as a kind of class of people are really anti-social geeks, but we have to work together all the time, we're always communicating with each other, we're always talking to each other and it's a really fun group of people to work with so I think that's a bit of a surprise but a really good one. In my spare time I have a whole load of creative hobbies, I think that's why I became an engineer because I just love creating things so I do all kinds of things like sketching, drawing, origami, knitting, uh, I do pyrography which is kind of wood burning and all kinds of things like that really. Obviously one of the biggest implications that our project could have in the future is that our rover could find life on another planet. So that's answering really fundamental questions about whether we're alone in the universe. I think no engineer should leave home without a sense of creativity, sense of inspiration about the world and just curiosity. I think if I could give one piece of advice to somebody thinking about becoming an engineer, it would have to be don't stop studying maths and physics because they're really crucial and also just don't believe that anything's impossible because I have friends now working in Formula One, in green energies and I'm working on a Mars rover mission so really the world is your oyster.